The Twitter guy tweeted, an, uh, an, uh, tweeted something on, on Twitter and that thing go, went for $2.6 million. Coming a few years, what will be happening, you don't even need to go to the gym. You'll be teleporting a trainer who comes to your house, trains you, and you can actually feel them. When I started doing the crypto space, guys thought I was mad. Now everybody in the world is talking about crypto. Hello, great people. And the reason why I call you great is because you have greatness inside you. And uh, it's important to appreciate that fact. This is a business debut. And today we want to discuss cryptocurrency and the opportunity in the crypto space. And remember, the reason for this program is to, for you to be able to make money, make a lot of profit, and then you can impact the community positively. And that's the reason we're here. And today we want to see what is the opportunities in the space because uh, the crypto market is growing. Uh, just for, just for, for your information, currently the crypto market is playing at $2.04 trillion. Not kidding, actually, it's $2.04 trillion. And of course, what is dominating the market is a, is a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is dominating the market. It's about 41% dominance. And then Ether is dominating it with about 19.19%. .19%. So that means the crypto space is growing. Um, and uh, of course, a lot of things have been happening in that space. I know that, uh, and we, we keep saying this, that Africa still remains behind in this space. Uh, why? Because if you look at the most projects that are developing in the crypto space, most of them are either in Asia, uh, that's maybe that may China, uh, South Korea, uh, Singapore, US, and the other places. Africa, the projects we have are very few projects that some of them are happening in Nigeria and a bit of a bit of Kenya, and Kenya is not, isn't, isn't much, and then South Africa. Of course, South Africa, they're doing a lot of peer-to-peer -peer trading and, uh, and South Africa and uh, Nigeria. Now, I just want to put you up to speed what is happening. So, of course, uh, the last uh, couple of, uh, couple of um, months, a lot of things have come to play in the crypto space. One, of course, PayPal have accepted, has started accepting cryptocurrency. Now, in the past three years, before, in three years ago, when we talk about cryptocurrency, a lot of people didn't know about cryptocurrency. Now, everybody knows about cryptocurrency. So it's small, young, old, they have had either Bitcoin, Ethereum, or they've heard about crypto. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's an open secret. Now, adoption. India has adopted cryptocurrency now because they're actually now uh, accepting crypto. And anytime you, 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 you trade in crypto, the government will charge you 30% capital gain. That means they are, they are adapting it. Now, another development is fine that now a lot of uh, dominance of the cryptocurrency in the, in the past, a lot of uh, mining was being done in China. Now that has moved. A lot of mining has not been done. In fact, China has almost like 0% mining. A lot of things are moved from China. It's more, more of US and um, more of US and other Asian countries. Now, Again, what's happening in the U.S., they are already, already now adapting, accepting cryptocurrency. There are a lot of, there are a lot of lobby. They, they are trying to legislate a lot of things on the, in, the, in Congress on, on crypto space. So that is growing. And of course, now it's acceptable in the U.S. Uh, and of course, the, 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 the other thing that has happened in the crypto space, we have things like uh, NFT, like Solano. Solano is an NFT, a big NFT that is, is, being, is playing in the Premier League. People, you can be able to take photos of the Premier League and then buy them, sell them on, uh, on NFT. NFT is uh, where you, have, you sell pictures, you sell uh, artifacts that are unique and nobody will have that. And that artifact has a, has a, has a value. For example, you remember like uh, a few years ago, the Twitter guy tweeted, uh, an, uh, an, uh, tweeted something on, on Twitter and that thing go, went for $2.6 million. So it's growing. It's growing, and of course, where is Africa? But let's not talk about Africa first. Now, the other thing is, let me just explain for the ones who probably don't know. We have a couple of di different cryptos. One, we have the cryptocurrency, like that's the Bitcoin of this world, Ethereum, uh, and others. These are the currencies that are actually, Bitcoin is used to, to it's a peer-to-peer -peer trading. Ethereum, that platform, that blockchain platform is used for utility. Like, for example, we have a, a, a utility project on Ethereum. There are other players like Polygon, other players who are riding on Ethereum platform. And then you have the likes of, uh, of Solano, which is an NFT. What do you mean by NFT? NFT, digi they are digital spaces, uh, digital uh, photos, artifacts and stuff that are being saved on, on the online. And you, you buy them for quite a bit of money. Uh, NBA are, be are, are playing more in the crypto space, especially in NFT, because of photos of, of the superstars. 
uh, the American football, the same thing is happening. So a lot of things have happened. So people are shifting from the crypto space. But the most recent uh, development is the metaverse. metaverse. If you want to know crypto is growing, Facebook have changed their name from Facebook to Metaverse. And the reason they're doing that is because they're seeing the opportunity in Web3. Web3 is 3, 3D, where you're able to find, you can, in fact, I think it's, a, it's um, I, six or seven months ago, somebody bought a property, uh, bought a digital land for $4.6 million. Digital land, not a website, digital land. So. A lot of things are growing in the crypto space, and it's important that you you you, you be aware. Um, now, Solano is growing. I'll just tell you the, the rates currently. What are the rates in the crypto space? So that you you are aware, as we as we as we as we do what we're doing here. Currently, Bitcoin is selling at uh, 44 thousand dollars. Ethereum is selling at thirty two, three thousand two hundred dollars. Uh, there is a Solano who is selling at uh, one hundred thirteen dollars. These are just the big players, and of course, there's a thing like Cardano that are a, a bit small, and then you have the stable coins like um, like Tether and stuff. Just just shows you the space. Now, a f six months ago, I think uh, Bitcoin was selling at at um, at sixty sixty thousand dollars, and then it came down. And the reason it came down is because one, of course, now uh, with the U.S. is a dominant player in this space, so um, uh, uh, a lot of money is moving from now from now the crypto to the the what is called uh, the traditional business. So and of course, whether it's a stock market, uh, New York Stock Exchange, also the stocks have gone down. But the people who are own uh, crypto space right now, who are especially holding Bitcoin, are the institutional investors. Yeah, the big banks of this world, like in Wells Fargo, like in a, uh, uh, Goldman Sachs, are holding more money on crypto, which is interesting. Now, where is Africa? Africa is nowhere. I can tell you the truth. We are nowhere. And uh, because the only people who are playing in that space are Nigeria and Kenya and uh, South Africa. Now, Kenya, we still haven't legislated on, uh, on, uh, on cryptocurrency. We're still saying it's, a, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, a, it's an illegal, illegal uh, platform. However, the Ministry of Lands are writing, have written their product on a blockchain technology. Yeah, so land, land, land issues are going to be on blockchain technology. Remember what one of the, the ministers was talking about uh, a few years ago. So, but the thing I want to talk to, to, you, to you about is about a metaverse. If you want to know that the, the crypto space has, is growing, look at what Facebook have done. Change their whole business concept to, to 3. Uh, 3, uh, uh, Web3, where it's 3D. Let me just give you a, a, a snippet. Coming a few years, what will be happening, you don't even, even need to go to the gym. You'll be teleporting a trainer who comes to your house, trains you, and you can actually feel them, train you, train you in your house, and you can see the person. Yeah, but it's, 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 a, it's, 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 a, it's, it's not a trainer, but it's a photo of a trainer, but he's act, acting. You can watch a movie from your house, Three of you can watch a movie, go to the movie theater together. One is, one is in Thika, the other is in Nairobi, the other is in Mombasa. They're all in one cinema hall. And they can feel each other because they are, they are in, the, in the crypto space. So that's what is happening. So now, uh, let me just explain what we are trying to do here in Kenya. And of course, for, for TMX, we are, we are developing a project called, for logistics space. The kind of project we want to develop is a project where you find every, if a container leaves China and comes to Kenya, it will not have a human interaction. Once you make an order, the rider, the, uh, the transporter in China picks the product, takes it to the, to the, to the, to the freight forwarder at uh, the sea, mask or whichever uh, shipping line picks it, it's automated, picks it, brings it all the way to the country, taxes are paid, the transporter picks it, and it's delivered to the customer at the doorstep. That's the project we want to, to develop. It's a supply chain project. And we're going to be selling it on TMX platform. So Africans need to wake up. We need to wake up and play in this crypto space. Can you imagine 3.2 trillion, 2.3 trillion dollars in trading in the crypto space? And Africa is nowhere. TMX is also uh, developing a peer-to-peer -peer trade where we can buy and sell cryptocurrency on our platform. It's called TMX Crypto Exchange because you want to see the opportunity. So the thing I want to challenge, especially African developers, 
really tech guys. You need to be able to develop projects that will help Africa. I usually say, Africa, we have an issue, we have a, we have a poverty issue. We have an issue of food. We have an issue of corruption. We have an issue of, um, of housing. All those projects can be put on a blockchain project and you can raise money globally. There are so many projects that, have been, that guys are raising money in the, in the, in the, in the US, for example, uh, at um, Silicon Valley. They raise so much money because of projects they have. Africa is nowhere. Of course, government, government, government does, not, does not finance uh, many uh, projects in Africa. But I think it's, it's time that that starts to happen because uh, we need to be able to develop projects that are helpful to our country. Poverty issues can be sorted because you find there is food in, in Nyandarwa and there is poverty in Garissa. So, so all those things can be done using tech. So we need to wake up. We need to wake up. We are developing projects that are going to be able, be able to help Kenya, alleviate corruption in Kenya. So our project is one, supply chain. What are you doing for this country? You need to, be, I challenge you, uh, you, the youth, you need to think, especially even, I think uh, that we have, we have a, a, pro, a, a blockchain project called Harmony. Harmony is putting a lot of music on their platform. We have videos, movies, movies that are coming on, on Harmony. A lot of good things are happening on, on the digital space as Kenyans need to be able to wake up and be able to develop things for ourselves. So I challenge you, the youth, that you need to think, come out of the box. Information is out there on the internet. Now you can go and sit on YouTube, learn how to code. You can be able to sit on YouTube, learn how to even take films. You can go to YouTube and learn how to do projects that are big and mega. The world is waiting for you out there. But if you just sit and, and think the way your, your folks used, used to think 10, uh, 10 years ago, Africa will not go anywhere. So I challenge you. We need to get new projects. You, you, you guys who are doing cameras, you guys who are on the, on the movie space, you need to be able to be creative and create projects that are crazy. If you, if you want to know an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur thinks outside the box. You don't think the way people are thinking. You think totally differently. When I started doing the crypto space, guys thought I was mad. Now everybody in the world is talking about crypto. Our project is not, has not taken off because we don't have enough talent in Kenya or in Africa. We have to outsource talent from India, and US. Yeah? But I challenge you, the youth, you need to be able to build things that will be able to help Africa become a better place. Yeah? The opportunities are out there. Two, two trillion dollars is being traded in the US, China, Asia, and very little is happening in Africa. So I challenge you. Yeah? In the space you are in, opportunities are out there. There are people who want to fund great projects, but they don't have projects to fund in Africa. Because we are still thinking small and thinking Kenya or thinking Africa. We need to think global. Great. So once again, my name is Anthony Joga Jenga. Crypto space is where to be. We need to grow our blockchain project, but the youth have to come out strong and make it happen for us. Thank you and uh, God bless.